And you, you, we <laughs> you know how to start this next episode. <laughs> September 7th. No, let me fucking do it. <laughs> September 7th, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number one. Hey guys, welcome back to Jack and Hank. We're playing more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Improv! <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready. Oh, I can't I can't voice this guy. You're gonna have to talk back and forth. Please let me But be I talk with the win the witness more, don't I? Never mind. Mm. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I bet Miles Edgeworth. I mean, this is your first introduction to him, so. Yeah, I better I not like show any signs of weakness today. Or get a, a bit of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. <laughs> what if he was just like, he was just like, oh god, Miles Edgeworth, what should we do, me? Dad. <laughs> <laughs> He Thank says you. it out loud. <laughs> he, looks, he, looks, he looks directly at Maya over in the defendant seat. Dad! <laughs> Thank you, your honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, your honor. I see. Why are you wearing that gay lapel? <laughs> it's, it's a cravat, actually. <laughs> no, don't. No, really, it gets name dropped. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. If we? The prosecution. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Gum I love boy. this guy. So do I. Witness, uh, please state your name and profession to the court. <laughs> I'm a little bit too big for this. This little stupid podium, you know what I mean? <laughs> sir! <laughs> My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. Or, as many know me, detective, 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 sir. <laughs> I'm the detective in charge of the homicides <laughs> down at the precinct, sir. <laughs> detective Gumshoe. It's detective, detective. Please describe for us the details of this murder. What's up with your fucking hair? That's weird, right? Very swell, sir. Uh, let me use this floor map of the office he to thinks, explain. You think Edgeworth's hair is weird and not the dude that looks like a hedgehog? Sonic? <laughs> Fuck! I have to go! <laughs> you can't. You have to embrace it. <laughs> All right, so the body was found by this window here. Uh, you can see that I also drew... And the cause of death. <laughs> Loss of blood due to be, uh, being struck in the fucking head. Sorry. Detective the Gumshoe, if you could please refrain from profanity oh, in so the courtroom. My, oh, my bad. Fuck. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker. <laughs> Found next to the body, so you could see I drew it here. I drew it really good. That's. <laughs> I drew it good. That's. It was heavy it enough should. to be a deadly weapon, even in a goyle's hand, sir. A girl. That, that's a. That's a fucking. A G O I R L. <laughs> <laughs> the court accepts the statue as evidence. Again. We're still calling it a statue. <laughs> they should call it the thinker. I mean, it, I mean, it did have the cockwork tape. The clockwork <laughs> taken out. <laughs> did you mean to do I, that? Yes, I did, meant to do that. Oh, okay. I was like... Was now, some, detective. That was some good acting. Also, could you look more evil? Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene correct. I didn't mean to word it like that. It was a little weird. Sorry, can I, like, run that again? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's gone, so I don't know. You immediately arrested Maya Fay, who you found at the scene, correct? No, I was saying, like, he's saying that in the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> can I do that again? <laughs> yes, so I had hot evidence. She did it, so. <laughs> <clears throat> Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. <laughs> my, my schlong. <laughs> uh, Maya Fay's arrest. Maya Fay's arrest. Maya Fay's arrest. As soon as the phone 
call came in. I, I rushed to the scene. There were, there were two people there already. Uh, the defendant, Miss Maya Fey, and the lawyer, uh, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fey due to the fact that she is a woman, of course. Uh, why would... And I, why? I do, I do, I let it state on the record, I do hate women. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> detective, detective, I ask you to refrain from your... Please, Biases. please, uh, please strike that statement from the court record. <laughs> All right, so this dumb broad in the pink. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fey at the at the very moment of the murder. I'm not too sure about that. If I'm being perfectly honest, I love this game so much. The very moment you said. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. I was just looking at the waveform for some reason. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Oh, these almonds. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examining what? You can see a single contradiction in the testimony. That's fucking- <laughs> Hey! Maya just threw something at me. What's this? When, when my, my sister-, sister uh, It's her- it's her writing the notes. Yeah, so it's, fa well. it's fair. It's fair. When my sister couldn't find any CONTRADICTION! <laughs> in, a in a witness's testimony. <laughs> he's, she he's would bluff it, it. And, and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. <laughs> Should've expected Maya was... <laughs> would know some of the... of her sister's tricks. That took... Way too long to say. I think you were thinking about saying something about her boobs. No, I wasn't. I was You're actually about to say, like, I was trying to read it. Thinking about All right, let's boobs. give this a try. Oh, that's right. You can't. She has a great rack. This, she is dead. <laughs> <laughs> something the matter? Oh, God, my cookie's here. <laughs> no, Your Honor. Uh, I'd like to begin my cross-examination, but only They forgot my snicker doodle. Thank you. They forgot my snicker doodle. They forgot. They did add an extra red velvet, though, so I'm okay with that. So, like Maya said in the note... Do everything. Press... No. Press the witness on every detail. Press. Hold it! Sorry. I was waiting for that. Who did you say you got a call from? Hey, pal, don't play dumb. You know who. <laughs> that fucking stupid bitch in the hotel. You call from a customer <laughs> at the Gateway Hotel, right? <laughs> right across from the crime scene. Hmm, okay. I, I pressed. Not sure it did much, though. Right. Please continue. Uh, I'd just like to t let you know, because you wouldn't know this, obviously, not playing it on DS. No, literally, just press him on every statement. Like, seriously. That's all you have to do here. No, yeah, um, I know. I was just checking, like, could I actually, like, go back and oh, just yes, fucking do okay. that again? I didn't realize Listen, Gumshoe, really how long would you say it took? Um, also, what were you I just want to let you know, uh... In the original DS versions of these games, um, when you would go to present evidence or press the witness or um, you, they allowed you to press Y to activate the microphone and you could yell, they would hold let you, you could yell, hold it or objection or take that, um, which is probably the most satisfying fucking thing. Is that why your just instinct is to yell? Yes, hold. that is. <laughs> OBJECTION! <laughs> hey, got really excited. A model this month is a quick response, so that's why I was there in three minutes. That's how I get there before the killer got away. Well... Oh, <laughs> stop looking at me. <laughs> Indeed! So, tell us who the two people you found on the scene were. Yes, sir. Uh, um, the defendant, Ms. Maya Fey, and the lawyer, Ms. Uh, Phoenix, Ms. Phoenix, right? Ms. Phoenix, right? Are you fucking serious, dude? <laughs> Are you absolutely, sh absolutely? <laughs> <is> so stupid. <laughs> Are you arbolertly sure it was Zeus? <laughs> Listen, are are you sure it was us, <laughs> the guy that was there, asking the question? Are you sure it was me there? <laughs> Listen, pal, your dumb mag only, will only get you so far. <laughs> With your funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair like Sonic or whatever, I'm not allowed to know that. You two, you two stand out like, like suspicious people at a crime scene. I mean, he's not wrong. 
<laughs> like, look at this. Well, dude. he does have a point about her. Uh, she is pretty unmistakable. His mistaken. hair is naturally like that too. I should. <laughs> like he doesn't gel it back or anything. I should pick my points to press with a little more care. Not really. Unless the game tells you you will lose health if you press the wrong statement, you can literally press whatever you want whenever you want. Why is that? What's your reason? <laughs> <laughs> They don't even give you dialogue from him. They just move on to the next statement. Well, we a win <laughs> well, cause that's the reason. Yeah, hold on. Hold on just one sec. You know, what the red said. Yeah? 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 <laughs> if I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence. She did it, correct? Huh? huh? Sorry. Did, did I say it? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. <laughs> exactly what about the suspicious woman in pink, in pink's claim, was hard evidence. Well, I mean, I, I had a look at her tits, and I got hard. What? <laughs> <laughs> this Maya isn't suspicious, he and said, she sure is in he, pink, pal. He's like, he's like, what? What did I just, what did I just say? <laughs> What the fuck? I love him. I love well, him so much. Well, I guess she is pink. Um... Dude, I have to shit. Also... Do you like this little straw from Applebee's that I put behind no, my it's ear? it's a pencil. Shut up. Cause he right Cause he's a detective. He shook his head and I was- That's wait, enough, wait, wait, Detective just, just, Gumshoe. Wait, does he do it again? Please do it again. What, the ear scratch? No, the- the- the shaking his head. I thought he was gonna be- I, Oh, the judge? Yeah, I thought he was gonna be like, mm mm, mm these mm. cookies. I love- I love cookies. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, detective? Um... Uh, hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yeah, remember that. Yes! Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got the order of the thing, of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. <laughs> Very well, detective. Let's hear your <laughs> testimony again. It's so funny how quickly we forget. <laughs> Alright, here's my actual testimony about my hard evidence. Hard evidence. About my hard evidence. <laughs> After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime in my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. You didn't fucking find that. I gave it to you. I gave it to you. You dumbass. You dumbass bitch. <laughs> Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger, which I had seen was particularly wet that day. Because of the blood, <laughs> not because of anything else. That would be weird. I did put her in my mouth for a brief time to check if she <laughs> check if she was still alive. But when she died, the victims wrote the killer's oh, name. Usually dumb you doing this usually you? usually <laughs> dumb broads would <laughs> ma <laughs> would what stop doing this my would stop you from putting them in your mouth if they were still alive. So uh <laughs> or you in their mouth, you know what I'm sorry. <laughs> How you like that? Yeah. It's my hard evidence. The mouth stuff. <laughs> hmm. All oh, these cookies. <laughs> Before we begin cross examination, I have a question. Uh, uh, I have a question for you, detective. Do you, you wanna? Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm mad because I ordered the snickerdoodle, and they just forgot it. They I just, just forgot it. it. It's my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the red velvet has its place in my heart, but the snickerdoodle... Snickerdoodle, just... Uh, eh, oh. uh, I know. Uh, I'm, oh. I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. I just realized- I said that to delivery guy, too. <laughs> In all caps, I sent him snicker doodle. One letter at a time. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. He just gave me a doodle he had done it in, in, on his break. I guess snicker was cut off. Okay. So, from now on, you can both press and you can press sometimes to get new pieces of testimony added on. Uh, but- 
also, if you think you see a contradiction and you're confident in it, can you stop doing that at me? You're like a cat. <laughs> if you think you, if you definitely like have like a contradiction, then just go for it. My own eyes. His own eyes. <laughs> Hold it! Did you find any evidence? No, no, don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen. I'm, ge I'm getting I to like the good jumping part. I'm jumping and guns. I have my feeling. A fa Four today, man. God damn. You didn't find shit. No, well, here's the no. It was still on the crime scene. Oh, so he did find it? Yeah, Phoenix didn't pick it up. He just added it to the court record. Ew. He did pick up the wiretap though. <laughs> Who, um, I wasn't paying attention, so I don't even know what he asked. Neither do I. <laughs> the killer. Can I just go out? <laughs> Ms. May. Well, it could have been the witness, Ms. May. Nice, a nice objection, too. Very crisp. The witness was in her hotel room, not the office. Try pulling the other leg, Mr. Wright. Yeah, while well, you're at it, pull mine too, my third one. My third. <laughs> you got to it before me. Good job. Well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. Yeah, tap your finger, Edgeworth. Tap it. Tap it. On it was the word Maya was written clearly in blood. That is true. Lab test results show that the blood was the victim's. Okay, That's fine. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. That's probably also true. Because she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Is that the right thing to do? Should I be holding it? I don't know. Sorry, I'm I don't- I'm saying, is that literally Look, like the right- I, is that tr I like- handhold you a lot, I feel like, with a lot of games that I've played and you haven't. No, no, no. I, really I mean, like, is that the right action Maybe. to take? Who knows? Okay. Well, figure it out. Why don't you look at your evidence and see if that's the right action actually right. to take, Henry? Sure, it happens You can look the at the evidence whenever you want by pressing tab. <laughs> or, right. <laughs> this isn't a movie. This isn't a movie, detective. Oh. Oof. Oh. Oh, that hurt my self-esteem. Let's talk about reality, shall we? Snap back to reality. <laughs> there goes gravity. Gravity's fast. I guess I haven't heard of many cases, no. Do you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? Uh, yeah, actually, you, you well, got a point, if she, pal. if she actually did kill her, then stop right there. That's not how you the play basketball. The witness's opinion on the on the matter is irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Irreverent. Irreverent. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. <laughs> I don't know about that though. Guys, stop dribbling. That didn't go well. <laughs> That's right, what he said. Alright, Henry, why don't we take a look at the evidence and see if we can come to any conclusions. Spike any time. Somewhere. You can look at it any time from the court record. Even when you're not in testimony, you can look at it. Except for when text is scrolling, you can't look at it then. Single blunt force trauma, death was instantaneous. Your cell phone... You've already... I haven't presented it to the court, though. Wait, so what was the thing that... What, what did you just talk about? Bef like, before the testimony restarted? Before the testimony restarted, we talked about... Hint... Oh, so I should just go to the last thing that he said. You can... You can just skip the <laughs> Please. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. That. 
Is there something I want you to hold on for me again? What is it? Do I have to present individual pages? No, you just present a piece of evidence, but why would the phone call from that morning have anything to do with her writing her name down? No, but the head. So before she died, before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we'll get to a point where like even I don't fucking remember like what's supposed to be presented. Okay. From now on, no help. Of course. No no no. I mean not even like Not even like Not even like you, Yeah, like not even like not even a guiding answer. hand. Like tell Word. a story. Um, like but somebody we'll, not even... we'll continue this conversation next time on Dragon Hank. Uh, so next time I'm drinking. Next, yeah, Fuck. that's that's what I that's what I. Did you drop that in your foot? Oh, I did. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Did you like my Markiplier impression? Fuck you. Oh. <laughs>